Now we need to create this single layout view. We've been spending all of our time on the photo grid here and it's actually looking pretty good. But when you click through to one of the photos, we just see I'm the single. And where does that happen? Well, that happens in our single component. So let's go and create this layout right now. So we've already imported React. Uh, we are going to need and reuse the photo component, right? Because the everything is pretty much the same. We've got the photo, the caption, and the two buttons. The only addition here is that we have this comments layout right here. So that doesn't mean that we should redo all of this work. We can just reuse this photo component. That's really at the core of React is uh, the reusability of these components. So let's go and import photo. And we're also going to import comments, but we haven't created that component just yet. So I'm going to uh, import comments. I'm just going to leave a comment there so we remember to do it. Uh, then we go down to this render function right here. And before we actually return it, there's a couple things that we need. We need the index of the post. And that will also happen is, is get us the post. So we need the actual post itself in order to pass it to the photo, as well as we need the index of uh, the post so that our like buttons and everything is going to work. So uh, how do we get that, those? Well, I'm going to say const i equals, we have this dot props dot posts because we have all of that available to us. And we can use the dot find index. Uh, if you've never used that before, it's fairly new to the browser. Um, but if it is an older browser, we can always use a polyfill to, to fill that in. So we are going to look for the post that has a post.code is equal to, well, which specific one are we looking for? We're looking for the post that has a code. And, and what is the code? Well, let's let's just take a quick look here. We open this on up. We are looking at, let's just look at one of the posts here. You see that each post has a code and we're looking for the post that has a code of B, A, C, J, E, J, et cetera, et cetera. So we want to look where the post.code is equal to whatever is available in the URL bar. And the way that we can actually access that information, if I click on single, we have this dot props, and you'll see that we have this params right here. And the params is made available to us from the router, and that is up in the URL here. So we say this dot props dot params dot post ID. So whenever the post.code, it's going to loop over every single one, and then it's going to give us the index of when the post code is equal to that. So that should give us the uh, index. And if I just console log that index right there, we should see there we go one, go back, zero, two, click on like the last one here, 23. So it's working. It's telling us that it's actually finding the actual uh, index of it. Whoops. But we also need the post. So we'll say const post equals this dot props dot post square bracket I and we'll do a console log of the actual post as well. So now let's see what kind of information we have in here. When I click one, you see that this is the entire post object caption code, the source, the ID, go back, click on another one. That's another caption and, and post. So good. We've got the data that we need. Now we just need to go ahead uh, and render it on out. You know that we use the photo component here. I'm going to self-close that since it doesn't need any children. And a couple props that the photo would need. And maybe this would be a good good time to actually code up some prop types, which we learned in the React for Beginners course. Uh, I post equals post. We need to pass it the actual post. And then I'm also going to pass along uh, all of the props that we need. Or you could cherry pick the actual ones that you specifically want. So and we should now see it rendering on out to the single. Give it a refresh. Uh, not showing for us just yet. And it's because we haven't returned it. We need to replace I'm the single with this actual photo. So I'm really just doing this uh, right up here just to get all of the data that we need. And the actual return happens right here. This is the JSX that gets returned. So if that are fresh, there we go. Now I've got uh, this 56, they look that everything just works immediately. Why? Because we gave it the increment and the post and uh, that component will live on its own. So that's great. Now we actually need to uh, create the comments layout. If we look right here, we have this comments where sometimes there's no comments, but if we go to one that does have comments, it's going to render them out. We've got this little button here that I can delete the buttons and we can also add uh, our own comment as well. So let's take a look at how we're going to do that. First thing we need to do is create a new component called comments.js and we're going to import react from react 
Okay, we're going to create our component. And let's just uh, give ourselves a div with a class name of comment. I'm the comments. So now that we have that component, let's go into our single and import it. So import comments from comments. And we'll go down to our photo here and just render out the comments component. Uh, we got a little bit of an error here. A valid React component must be returned. Let's take a look here. Oh, it's because I didn't return anything. So we need to return the actual element. Otherwise, that JSX just gets run and nothing is actually returned to it. So I'm going to refresh. And we now have I'm the comments showing on up. Oh.